All right, so we have had a very interesting day here in the markets where we had the July jobs data come out for July 2022 here on Friday, August 5th. And this happens every month. The data comes out from the past month and it tends to be very market moving. It happens around uh, 8.30 Eastern. And I have a whole video about how to really kind of dive into the jobs data, uh, who calculates it, how to manage your trading around it, okay? But what I wanna focus on here today is you know, the talking heads on TV and maybe you as a trader are a little confused about the market reaction when the job numbers come out and they're good. So I have today two very important tools to help us out. Number one, my phone's on a stand, so I'm not gonna hold it so you can get the full HEMA energy. Number two, I have a piece of paper and I have a Sharpie. So I'm gonna explain to you what's been helping me since the pandemic started to better understand quote unquote weird reactions to market data. Ready? Okay, so let's start with this, okay? Here we've got a situation where July numbers came out and they were good, okay? Job numbers were good. We had such a high percentage of employment and a lot more. But here's the weird thing. The ES market, when this data came out, was trading along and then it went down. And I'm talking about the 60 minute chart. That's like my favorite pulse of the ES market, okay? Why did this happen? Why did we have the jobs data be good, but the ES trade lower and many other markets? You know, we did kind of recover after that and get a little sideways for the rest of the day, but why the initial bad reaction? Why is this bad news? It's not bad news unless you think of it from the perspective of, it's kind of twisted, but follow me, okay? From the perspective of a being, in this case, the economy, being like, so let's call it eco here, being like a, I don't know, a kid who doesn't want to go to school or a patient who doesn't want to leave the hospital, okay? Basically, us saying, oh, you're sick, right? You know, you've got a temperature, right? So let's make this thermometer and they've got this temperature. And so we're like, oh, you're sick? Well, then you get medicine. And what is economic medicine? Medicine would be rates falling. It would be QE rising, okay? It would be things to aid an economy that might be ailing. So think of it this way. If the economy doesn't have a temperature, okay? If it's healthy and the economy is doing fine, right? It's not reading really high up on the scale. It's that normal body temp, okay? then that means it's not sick or it's not as sick as we thought. Okay, if you take these data points individually. So if, if, it's not, if it's not as sick as we thought, it's not going to need medicine. In fact, it can withstand the opposite of med medicine. It can withstand measures that need to come in to combat other things like inflation. So rates are likely to continue up, okay? Like this move today, latest I heard kind of increases the chances of a 75 basis point hike in September and all these other soothing things like the soothing bombs that the market as a whole likes won't be there. That's why this happened. You follow this guys? If you think of it this way, it's actually not very surprising to see that when good news comes out, the market reacts funny and goes lower or when bad news comes out, it's happy. Because if there's bad economic news, then that means it's gonna get some medicine, right? Because that would be a sign that it's sick. But when there's good economic news, maybe saying the temperature's not as high as we thought, things aren't as bad as we thought, uh, you know, we're not as deep into a recession as maybe we thought, all these things, then the market, and when I say the market, I mean the overall collective participants, not just you, not just me, not some hedge fund manager on Wall Street, not any one person, right? We don't move the needle. It's the collective. And so the collective of the market is like a weird, weird being. So this notion, thinking of it this way, I've literally been thinking of this way since the pandemic started and it's helped me a lot. Because whether I'm trading or not, or investing or not around those dates or those reports, I now realize what I'm up against, okay? And so, this isn't gonna be helpful to you as more economic data comes out, whether it's jobs reports in September, October, November, or any other information we get, like GDP or uh, CPI, things related to inflation and more. 
So keep that perspective in mind. I think it can really help you and prevent you from being shocked and most importantly, prevent you from treating the news in like the old way. Okay, I don't think the market always behave like this. I think this is a somewhat recent phenomenon, but it's there and it's very, very helpful to keep this in mind. So make sure that you are approaching your trading and protecting your trading by kind of filtering out just the black and white of the news and remembering it's this weird thing here, okay? It's this weird dichotomy where even though something is good news, the market doesn't like it and it's because of these reasons over here. All right, that's your lesson at HEMA school today and we'll see what happens as economic data unfolds. So remember, subscribe, like, Comment, follow, and I'll catch you on the inside.